welcome back now we're on to the till section and we have a bit of a decision to make oh incidentally I've hidden the frame helpers and put it into uh, transparent mode by hitting alt and X yes we have a bit of a decision to make um, whether to actually create this as um, an independent section and then attach it to our fuselage or create it from um, well create it by extruding polys along the top section um, I think we'll try the extrusion method to begin with okay so what I need to do now is actually split this helps if I go into edge uh, select those and what we're going to do is pop down to our connect should be familiar with this now let's connect it given us two we only want one and let's zero that out thank you and what we need to do if I can just drag that out of the way is bring it down to the beginning of the tail fin here so let's move that down there just there and we'll say OK now I can just pop onto the poly here and what we're going to do on this one actually it's the verte, uh, vertex I need let's pop to that and drag them across to there hit R for our scale tool scale it down a little bit W for our move tool up a tad R for our scale again just ease that in there W for our move tool and that's about right for the time being so let's um, pop onto polygon hit T to get our top viewport let's zoom out a tad and move it across now we can zoom in a little bit more I'm going to hit alt X so we can just see and what we want in here is these polygons on the top so there's two of them here but first of all I have to check ignore back facing otherwise if we were to select that it would also select those at the back so we'll hit that select that press my control key and that adds that now we can go back into our left viewport say Z for zoom and just pull out a little bit now if we have a look at the tail section here we can see that basically it's just a box but it is shaped around here so what we need to do is extrude so let's pop down and find extrude which should be somewhere here yep so press that for the settings and you'll notice that it's shot up into the top there well we don't want it so high so let's bring it down a little bit to about there to begin with now you'll notice that we can see the top polys let me just click OK for that first and that's because it still has the camber of the profile if I put it into perspective mode for a moment and we have a little look around there you can see we need to level that out so let me put it into the left view again go zoom pull out now we're going to select vertex and we'll hit these vertices or we'll select those vertices just 
there and if we come down we have something here called make planar now I'm never sure quite sure which of these to hit so is it the X one that doesn't look right undo it's the middle one Y there we go put it into perspective mode again P and zoom around and there we can see that it's leveled out all those vertices along the Y axis I should have known actually why because it says oh, there I went for X and it did it along that axis and there's the Y axis smack your wrist Mike so let's put it back into the left view zoom and pull out so now we've leveled off the top in fact I think I'll open up my viewports here that's okie doke we're still in vertices I'm going to select that vertices there first of all I just want to check uncheck that reselect and let's move that back in fact I'm going to put it in transparent mode then I can see a little bit better now we need to put it into polygon mode as you can see both our polys are still selected and we're going to go down to extrude click on extrude yep I'm going to accept that go to vertices select those there and pull them in a little bit I'm watching this carefully here as well back into poly still selected we'll go to extrude again this time we need to increase this up to there click on it say OK back to vertex select that vertices there pull them across back to poly extrude that's overshot so we need to come down to there just in line for that top section there say OK for that vertices select those there we're going to pull them in and then these here and move those across just switch it off for a moment and all is looking well for the time being nice sort of profile there okay well we know that we have to apply the turbo smooth at some point so let's just try that out now oh that doesn't look right let's put it in perspective mode for a moment have a look around in fact I'll just zoom out a little bit hide our reference material nope that's certainly not right okay obviously we need to do something else in order to make sure that that kind of deformation isn't occurring where we need it but let me explain what's happening first of all I'll turn off Turbo Smooth, no I'll delete it actually. Find a bit of space. Go to create. Very quickly just create a box. Convert to editable poly. open that up select 
select those and delete them. So all that we're left with now is this. When I apply the Turbo Smooth, as you can see there, it smoothed it out completely. Now we can actually control the amount of smoothing. However, we need to do some things first. Let me just delete the Turbo Smooth and rotate around a little bit. Go to our edge and we're going to select those two edges there. Go down to our connect and we've connected it there. Now if I move that closer to the edge, say there, and say OK, and then we apply our Turbo Smooth, as you can see the amount of smoothing on the edge has been decreased. So if we just delete that again, this time I want to select these two edges, go to connect and zero that out move it up close up say OK and now if we apply the Turbo Smooth as you can see from that profile there the smoothing, the rounding has been limited so that's what we need to do to our tail plane. We need to find the edges that we want to keep sharp and we have to apply a restricting edge to them. And that's going to be part of what we'll cover in the next tutorial. So I'll catch you then.